Hopefully you've already checked out my first video discussing the basics of good video conferencing or creating video content um, and making it less distracting. I talk about lighting and sound. Here are some other things to consider. When taking a call or recording a video, try to find a quiet space in your house, ideally somewhere you can close a door. I know we're all working from home these days with our partners, roommates, kids, etc., and you have to work with what you have, but if it's an option, take it, especially if you're creating brand content. Try to find a quiet time of day that you can record it. And also, let whoever is in your house know that you're recording in advance so that they don't barge in the room half naked, because that would be awkward. Once you find that space, try to tidy it up a bit. Again, anything that can distract your viewer from you and what is coming out of your mouth is incredibly annoying and you don't want to lose your audience. So try to sit up against a wall or simply tidy up the space behind you. And if you're creating brand content, maybe take it one step further and think about what is behind you and be a bit more intentional about its placement. After you're done checking out your background, maybe check yourself real quick. I know we're all enjoying the novelty of working out of our PJs at home, but maybe consider what others can see. Maybe throw on a proper shirt, comb, comb the hair out of it, throw on some lip gloss. Also, think about where your camera angle is pointing. I'm not saying you have to spend an hour getting ready before a conference call. I'm just trying to set you up for success. So whatever that means to you, take it. Many of you have been using WebEx or Zoom for years and maybe already know these things. And for that, I say thank you for watching this video anyways and supporting me. And feel free to share it. But I know there are many... I've been talking to some of my friends using it lately, and here are some of the things they had to say. This one was really cool, to use a white noise machine by your door. Especially if you have kids in the other room, it creates one more sound barrier for both you and your caller. Maybe they can't hear it, but for you, it can be really distracting, especially if you're presenting something. So that was a cool tip. I wouldn't use that probably if you're doing content for your website, but if you're doing a conference call, it seems like a pretty cool option. Um, if you have a group joining into your call and your software has the ability to enable a waiting room, do that. It allows the host to control the folks coming in so they don't interrupt your presentation. Um, WebEx and Zoom have these features for sure, while FaceTime and Hangouts do not. Um, I heard in the news this week about some security issues with Zoom with hackers collecting data from large group calls. To avoid this, you could simply create a password and share it with your callers in advance. Now, now that we're working all from home, our networks may not be as secure as what we're used to in the office. WebEx is a little more mature technology, so its security features are a little tighter. Something to consider for you and all your participants' protection. My husband also works for Cisco, so I had to say that. Also on security, if you're recording your conference call, you need to make sure everyone dialed in knows that in advance. So when you first hit record, get a verbal confirmation from everyone before it begins. Well, that's all I got for you now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will gladly get back to you. If you want any other videos on anything, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Cheers everyone and stay safe.